Hello there. If you are looking for scientifically proven ways to get rid of cellulite, well, you have found the right video. We're gonna learn what actually works and what doesn't work. So, let's begin. Okay, so let's begin with tip number one. Look at using caffeine-based creams or lotions. Studies have shown that they're quite effective at dehydrating the cells, which can help with the appearance of cellulite. Please remember though, you are gonna have to use them every single day to make sure that you see those effects. Moving on to tip number two, natural potassium intake. There are no studies yet confirming potassium intake and also cellulite appearance. But there are theories that having a healthy balanced diet which has enough potassium in it can help with the fluid buildup which can then help the appearance of cellulite. So there's definitely no harm in incorporating foods like butternut squash, bananas, sweet potato, I will leave a full list in the description below, into your healthy balanced diet. Obviously you don't wanna be just having those because then that's too much potassium, but incorporating them into a healthy balanced diet is completely fine and it could help with the appearance of cellulite. I would avoid, however, taking any potassium supplements. You can get more than enough from a healthy balanced diet. Moving on to tip number three, retinoid creams. There is evidence that retinoids can help with the appearance of cellulite. By thickening that skin, it's gonna help with the overall appearance. Please remember though, due to skin cycles, you will need to apply it for at least a minimum of six months or maybe even longer to see its full effect. Please also remember they are not suitable for everyone, so always speak to a healthcare professional and read the information they put before taking it or using it, sorry, because your safety is the most important thing. Moving on to tip number four, please do not waste your money on supplements. I know some people say that ginkgo biloba supplements, caffeine supplements, grapeseed supplements, all these things apparently help with cellulite. The truth is there is no evidence that supports any of these claims. So the best advice I'll give you is don't waste your money on them. Moving on to tip number five, massage the area. Try and do it daily. It's shown that it's gonna help blood circulation, it's gonna help plump up the area, and it's gonna stop fluid buildup in the area, which is then all gonna potentially help with the appearance of cellulite. And best of all, it's free, so there's definitely no harm in giving it a go. Moving on to tip number six, if you think you might be overweight consider losing weight as for some people it's been shown that losing weight can help with the appearance of cellulite now if you want more help on evidence-based ways to actually lose weight i have quite a few videos on them where i think over about 20 25 million views on them they've helped many people around the world i'll leave a link to it up here and in the description below but please remember don't lose too much weight as actually losing too much weight can have the opposite effect on cellulite and make it appear worse. Moving on to tip number six, firm your skin with exercise. Look, exercise helps improve the appearance of cellulite by making the skin firmer and smoother. What's gonna happen is we're gonna replace those fat cells with more muscle and this is gonna help with the appearance of cellulite. So that's everything that you can do to help with the appearance of cellulite, okay? But please do remember there are cosmetic treatments that you can try as well. I will leave more information about them in the description below. And lastly, please do remember that cellulite is something completely natural. You shouldn't be pressurized to do something about it or be made to feel bad about it at all. Everyone suffers from cellulite and only make that change if you really want to and if it's a choice that you've made. Always remember that you're awesome and I'll see you next week. This room is my favorite room in the surgery because we have two AC units, one there, one on the other side, and it's nice and cool to film in because it is so hot in this surgery. Honestly, I can't explain to you all how hot it is filming around here, especially when you're moving around as well and you're building up that sweat. Definitely not a good thing. Moving on to tip number three, retinoid cleaves. Cleaves. I can't speak today. Ah! Also guys, I just want you to see this. This is what I have to do basically to film. I just carry it on this um, gorilla mount and I risk the entire camera on this basically. So it could fall at any point, but these are risks that you've got to take. It's a Canon R5. I think it's like 8,000 pounds, this camera altogether, but it is my camera and you know, I use it as a tool. Just like a builder uses a hammer, I use this as my tool. So um, yes, 